Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Lucy and Julia and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is your little girl's ability to understand and respond to her formal on-leash obedience commands. The little tiny corrections and tons of motivation that we give her when we're working with her and the training equipment that we're using. So Julia is using a regular six foot web training leash and she keeps the bulk of the leash folded in her right hand, which leaves her left hand to kind of be her steering wheel. And the second piece of equipment that we're using is what we call a little martingale collar and they use those a lot on IGs, on greyhounds, anyone with a thin neck and a fragile trachea. And we are also using a clicker and treats because she's extremely food motivated as you already know and this helps her to feel like training is a positive experience and she's going to get rewarded for a good job. So the first thing that Julia is going to do with her is demonstrate her ability to heal and unfortunately it's a rainy day so we're having to do this in the playroom. The command is Lucy Heal. And it's her ability to just walk nicely next to your left side. If she's not walking, Julia, you can use food or your clicker to get her walking with you. Because she was walking around just perfectly a minute ago. There she goes. And then when you stop your feet, she has been taught to sit and to wait for her next command. I think she's a little freaked out by the camera. I think so too. She will not walk towards it. Okay, it's fine. Take her to her place and have her sit. She likes her mat and this is something that we use to get her to do her stationary commands. So if you have a dog bed or a little mat at home, you can use that to encourage her to go to place. So the next command that Julia is going to demonstrate is the sit, stay. Stay is a hand and a voice command. Stay. And because it is a stationary exercise, you do not use her name. Your job at home is to, going to be to lengthen out the amount of time she can hold it and the distance that you can go. And this is the recall or the come on command. So Julia used her name, called her, and when she came, she gave her a little click and a treat. There she goes. See, she can actually walk. So back to her mat, sit. This is her down on command. And stay. Now, if she doesn't come when you call her, which she did, but if she does it, you take your leash because now t technically she's off leash coming. That was good. Just heal her around again. Back to her mat and see, you can almost tell that she knows that mat is a visual of where we do our commands, our sit, our stay, our down, and then from there she'll come to you. And I think it's important that you continue to practice these commands. So we're working her little brain and not just expecting her to kind of be on her own. She has to know that there's a pack leader, that certain things are expected of her. And we tend to tell dogs what we don't want them to do a lot more than what we tell them to do or what we want from them. And then she gets rewarded for doing it well. So we've enjoyed having her. If you have any questions, Rich is going to have written paperwork for you tomorrow that help you with the transition back to home. She's adorable. She's sweet. She's going to get a bath this afternoon and Rich will see you with her tomorrow. And like I said, he'll shoot you a text or give you a call to let you know when he's leaving the school. Thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company. We've totally enjoyed having Lucy and we will see you soon.